guys good evening everybody well i feel honored to be in the midst of the family members of late captain elichi amadi and on my left we have igechi elichi amadi a daughter of the late elichi amadi okay and on my right we have professor priye yala amadi widow of the late elichi amadi and on my other right we have well, chief adewale the state chairman of national Nigerian Auto, and the tea of my you know literary legend captain the chairman and on my other right we also have i'm um, john carl Isirim, the clansman yeah. so guys i told you guys in the other video that we were going to hear more about captain elechi amadi because it seems that in this our present generation due to our lack of reading you know now reading is no longer common like it used to be before so we are kind of forgetting our past heroes people like captain elichi amadi and with this we are kind of creating awareness and bringing back to remembrance that such people existed and they shouldn't be forgotten so soon so ma'am can you please give us a brief introduction about late captain elichi amadi about my husband you mean yes. <laughs> my late husband. well in fact I, I think the internet knows more about him okay <laughs> than i do okay <laughs> because he is a truly international figure i use the i use my use my verbs in the present tense because writers and legends never die never die yes, yes. so billy chamadi is still very much alive through all his books and um throughout my series I always felt that I was in the presence of a great narrator, storyteller. <laughs> so this question is kind of directed to Igechi. Okay. <coughs> so basically, what can you say about your late father's social life? Social life? Yes. <laughs> uh, he was an observer. Okay. He was an observer. He walks into a room <laughs> and he's not everywhere. Just his square observes. He likes to observe. Okay. I think as a creative or as a writer, that was a very, very strong characteristic. Because very observe, write much something. Because he was an observer and he was a very authentic person. Okay. A traditional man in the real sense of it. And he made me love and appreciate culture so much. Okay. You know that authenticity made me to be proud of who I am, where I come from. Yes. You know, it kind of made us grounded. I really appreciate him for that. Yes. He was a great man. <laughs> wow. So this question is directed to you. How come you look so much like him and you also write like him? What is the relationship between you and Captain uh, Elichi Amadi? People tell me that you are like Elichi Amadi. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Make you no bad parts like Elichi Amadi. Every time, read it, read it, read it, read it. Even today too. And he has influenced me. The final story, one of my works, uh, our stories. So he blessed me to make a review. When I brought that out, he said, Ah, you are so liberal with your work. Right, that's economical. <laughs> this book itself, that section for is publishable. Go do me a favor, work on African proverbs. Mm. That is where African philosophy is on side. I'm quoting him. So, the nature has made it that one has to go at a time. But I think he came, he saw, and conquered. Okay.